Hi there, this is Solitaire Own from Solitaire Own Films and welcome to another One Director, Four Films. You know the score by now. Um, today's episode is Takeshi Kitano, or Beat Takeshi, as he's still probably more famous in Japan for being a TV comedian than actually one of the best directors of the last 30 years. So this is a favourite, a fundamental choice, a gem and a flounder. The film that doesn't quite resonate with you as much or it's your least favourite. So for Fundamental Kitano, I'm just going to go probably his most famous film or the one that got the most plaudits. That's Hanabai or Fireworks from 1997. Um, this won all kinds of prizes. I think it was Venice. And this has the the usual distinctive Kitano editing style, um, the colourful artwork done by Kitano himself, about a cop and his wife. A moving story, but filled with trademark Kitano um, music, Kitano editing style. Kitano's realistic view of violence and wonderful visual poetry. That's Hanabai for the fundamental Kitano. For my favourite Kitano, um, it's been my favourite for a while, but again, that might just be because it's the only Kitano film that I actually saw in a cinema, if you can believe that, when I used to actually go to the cinema. This was a cinema in that there London. Um, this is Sonatine. I'd seen um, Violent Cop on BBC Two um, late night and was just completely blown away by that fantastic Kitano style that we all know and love, or some of us do. And Sonatine, after Boiling Point, um, this is kind of his most fully formed film as far as, yes, it still has bursts of um, extreme violence, um, not stylized in any way, just very matter of fact, the way violence almost happens in real life. But it also has that mix of humour, that typical Kitano deadpan humour, um, with the lyrical, playful stuff at the beach before it gets serious and apocalyptic and nihilistic and bleak, just the way we like Kitano. Um, so Sonatine, probably just for, as I say, emotional reasons, because I actually saw it in a cinema. Um, for the underrated gem, there's actually a few... There's still one Kitano that I haven't actually seen. That's Ryo and the Seven Henchmen, because some of his later films are actually quite hard to track down. Um, and he is in the process, I don't know whether he's finished, but he is in the process of making what's supposed to be his last um, film. But I'm going to go with Achilles and the Tortoise, um, unless it's available in Blu ray in Japan, but I can't seem to find it in Blu ray anywhere. So this is a um, I think it's actually a Korean DVD. This is Kitano at his most playful about a failed artist and his um, struggling wife who puts up with his whims as he tries to follow trends of what's um, big in the art world. It's another beautiful, quirky little film. It might be too quirky for people's tastes but again it's just full of the Kitano humour that trademark Kitano editing style um, and it shows Kitano is willing 
to have a laugh at himself as well as um, not only the artistic world but also the film world as well um, it's just a wonderful little gem um, so Achilles and the Tortoise you should try and see if you haven't seen it before and from a flounder I'm just going to pick a film that I've probably watched the least so I will be re-watching it at some point and it might go up in my estimation um, but for me it's Takeshi's again another one that's just on DVD only um, and again this is Kitano a more playful experimental film about how he's weary being beat Takeshi or Takeshi Kitano and he meets the shop assistant who looks exactly like him and does the old do you want to be me while I have a rest um, it is his most playful but I also think it's it's fairly meandering um, obviously most of his films go at a specific pace um, they're not really high octane adrenaline fuel thrill rides um, but again it's the film that I've watched the least so it might go up in my estimation if I watch it again or when I watch it again um, but for me Takeshi's is my flounder so thanks very much for watching but obviously this series is about your choices and your comments which I'm looking forward to seeing for Kitano who I think is somewhat underrated um, I think people perhaps dismiss him as a one trick pony but if you actually look at all of his films in totality there's more going on than just the Yakuza stuff um, so he's well worth a look so thanks very much for watching no doubt we'll see each other again. This is Solid Your Own from Solid Your Own Films. Say farewell.